Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to revisit Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed. So this is going to be a quick update video to my previously released review. This is the Ecto Edition. Ecto Edition is a free update available for everybody. The game has since come to Steam as well on other platforms. There is cross-play, so you can play, you know, Epic, PlayStation, all of all of these players all over should be able to match make without a problem. I haven't tested it yet, but that's a thing. So this new Ecto Edition update added some new content, and I wanted to quickly highlight some of it. If you guys want to see more about how the game plays and what the gameplay is like, go check out my actual review. I'll put a link to that in the below description. Again, this is more of a follow-up. So what you're going to be doing with this update is embarking on a couple of new missions as part of the campaign. I don't want to spoil any of the campaign stuff. I'll let you figure that out on your own and see it for yourself. But there's a couple more acts that are introduced to the game that sort of sort of close out what was going on originally. And I'm glad they actually did that because I feel like the campaign just kind of ended abruptly, at least with the original epic released version of it. But this Ecto edition kind of fix that. I don't want to spoil too much with regards to a new room, but there is a new room in the firehouse. And it's just part of the campaign. You're going to unlock it as you play. I didn't really see any use to it other than it's just there for nostalgic purposes. It looked like <laughs> the one item in there looked like a big stargate. So I'm like, wait a minute. Are they about to travel to another world? Do they have some kind of Chevron system that I don't know about? Anyway, you stargate people will know what I'm talking about. But it's pretty pretty much just like a, a collection of items that you may have seen from the movies. It's just more nostalgic more than anything else. So it is just part of the campaign. There's no nothing really to interact with in there, which is kind of bum. You know, I'd, I, I, I was hoping for a little bit more there, but, you know, having that n new room to unlock is nice. Um, one of the biggest things I noticed, um, they redid the UI a bit, and there's also this new ghost bounties thing. You can play this solo, which is nice. You don't have to match make in order to make use of it. And it's just, it's pretty much you're fighting a particular ghost with random modifiers. On the right hand side you'll see like modifiers that help you or hurt you and it's just a it's just a way of like mixing things up a bit. You do earn bonus experience points if you decide to go on these bounties. So it's just something in addition to what's already there. Instead of doing a private match or a matchmaking, you can do the the bounty thing and just you know, if you want some extra XP and don't mind some extra modifiers, oh, the traps are, you know, more more uh, likely to overheat or less likely to overheat or the, the rips, there's less of them. You know, you're going to find all sorts of different things. Now, one of the main protagonists in this game, and I'll get to that in a bit, um, is this giant pumpkin, and his name is Sam Hain. But um, before we get into him, I guess I should mention this. I, I don't like the fact that this NPC is sort of, it's, he, they switch places everywhere, uh, so it's, you have to like search the firehouse to find them. But what's cool is now you can have up to four characters, and you pick which one you want active. So if you like a particular style, you can activate it and just play as them. In addition to that, you can assign them to your party. In days of yore, whenever you went on, say, a solo mission, the game would fill out random Ghostbuster bots, and they would be designed at random. You never knew what kind of decorations they would have, what kind of uniforms. Now you can assign them to your party, and they will appear every single time, which is awesome. So you can create your own little private team if you want. Every time you play solo or whatever, the bots will fill in the party that you created. I, I like that. Um, getting back to the whole Sam Hain thing, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right. He's got three variants. And the big thing about the Overlord Ghost is that he doesn't possess anything. Like, he doesn't actually hide. He cannot go into an object, <laughs> which is crazy. He can still haunt it, and it'll fly around the room and raise the haunt meter. However, he primarily is all about attacking all about attacking. And you will face this guy in the campaign as well. In order to unlock him, you have to beat him in the campaign. The last level is extremely difficult. Um, just be prepared for some quick time events with regards to actually trapping him. Um, there's, again, three different variants, but primarily he can spawn extra minions. There's also two extra levels, two new levels that are available. Petey's Pirate Cove and Galway Station, I think it was. Petey's Pirate Cove is kind of like this 
party area. It's got like a bowling alley and different things. Um, another cool thing is that you can actually adjust what ghost you're going to be fighting against and their difficulty. I did not see a way to adjust the AI bot like Ghostbuster difficulty, only the ghost side of it, which is unfortunate. I was even at playing as the ghost. There was no way for me to adjust the Ghostbuster difficulty, but now there's a way to adjust the, the ghost difficulty. And again, pick what ghost you're fighting against if you're playing as the Ghostbusters. So one of the biggest things with this new overlord thing, this new overlord creature, um, he can spawn minions like the other ghosts can. He's got this, at least the first guy, the Sam Hine, he can, he can, Sam Hain, Sam Hine, whatever. Um, he's got this lightning attack, which is kind of cool. It just shoots lightning from the sky after a short time. Um, one of his big things though, is like his ultimate. And this is, this is, this is what took me some time to get used to. Every 180 seconds or whatever the cooldown is, he can activate his ultimate. This ultimate will spawn a, like guess this, it's this black orb, okay, for lack of better term, and it causes the entire area, like, the entire, like, building to go dark, and the Ghostbusters have limited vision while this thing is active. If the Ghostbusters do not find this black orb and destroy it before it the timer goes up, it becomes another rift. So yes, as this character, it's possible to actually get more rips than the three that you start with, which is really cool. I, I again, that's what that's why I found him so challenging in the campaign. Like, I'm like, well, wait a minute, I just destroyed three rifts. How come he's not dead? The time's almost up. Oh, he's got another rift. How did he get another rift? Once I started playing as him, though, I kind of understood more what was going on there. But I love the fact that you can create these rifts. And again, if the Ghostbusters don't find it and take it down, then um, it's called a catalyst, I think. But yeah, if they don't find it in time, then it'll turn into another rift. And you can do a number of things with that. There's some strategy. With the ability to spawn extra rifts, you'll be able to like detonate the extra ones and really increase the haunt score in a particular room. You can leave it open and they'll spawn those purple dredge ghosts. They're like extra strong ghosts or whatever not your minions but they're like stronger than that you can also like levitate you can suspend them in midair and they'll be stuck in this bubble you can do that to the people like the civilians running around you can also do that to the ghostbusters that's kind of cool as well you can also like hover over an object and add this time bomb effect to it which um, it'll sit there like a proximity mine. And then when uh, a civilian or a Ghostbuster gets near it, it'll just uh, go after the person and like hit him. So that, so just, I, I'm really liking this new Overlord thing. I hope they introduce more ghosts in the future that sort of play on this. And I also sincerely hope not only do they add more ghosts, but I want to see more ghost types. Um, I also want to see difficulty settings for the actual AI Ghostbusters as well. But all in all, this was a fantastic update. I really enjoyed it. So uh, it's like 15 bucks right now on sale, 20 bucks full price. Go check it out. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Take care.